So we've got the snow dug out of the middle of the basement and we've uh, done our layout and chalk lines. And now we're gonna start cutting boards and putting down the seal. Uh, we've got the seal seal going down. That's the white stuff you can see out there. And we'll start cutting the pressure treated lumber and bolting that down. So we squared this foundation and it was incredibly square. I'm impressed with the concrete guys. They did a nice job. Should we head to the next one? Just a little bit. Right. Oh, there it is. And there it is. All right. That looks good. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love what you're doing, just keep doing it and do it faster. Senor. Thank you, sir. trying to get things ready for the floor trusses that are coming uh, hopefully we'll get those here this morning sometime they're talking um, mid-morning um, I, th I th as I've thought about why we're filming this or putting out this you know hey we're, we're a homesteading channel why are we doing construction and putting this on the channel my my hope with this little video series of framing the house is to show people that for, that in short order you could build your own house frame up the entire thing and so that's that's the goal of this little video series is to inspire people that hey I don't need um, to spend a whole bunch of money to have somebody else do it for me I can do it myself so as we go along I'm gonna try and share some of the tricks, uh, some tips, and share what we're doing on this particular uh, off-grid homestead project. Um, and, and you know, this place has power, so I guess we're not technically off the grid, but 
but I think the same applies to whether you're building out in the middle of nowhere or you're building um, in the city is to show that you can do it and that it is possible. It may take you a little longer than some other crew that comes in and knocks it out in a, in a few weeks, but that you can do it yourself. This morning we're getting our uh, floor trusses, um, which are different than floor joists. Uh, these, these floor trusses were about 30% more in cost, but there's a lot of advantage to using this truss over using a joist. Um, a TGI floor joist uh, would have saved us 25 to 30 percent, but it had a lot of deflection in it, which that, what that means is it would have had a lot of bounce in the floor, so that every time grandma runs across the living room, the uh, china cabinet sounds like a baby rattle. And that's just one of the reasons that we went with this stiffer floor truss is that it would make for a more solid floor and it's going to give us a lot of advantages with the mechanical system down in the crawl space on this particular house. Um, and we'll talk more about that as, as we get there, but this morning our, our floor trusses are here. Uh, we can't thank the, the trust company enough. Uh, they These were ordered last week and they're being delivered today. To get them out in a week, uh, that's one of the big advantages to working this time of the year is everybody's not slammed busy with summer and we were able to get them really quick. Uh, typically we would have had to wait six weeks for this delivery. So thanks to everybody over at uh, Trust Tech. Um, so we'll go ahead and get these put in and take you along and, and show you some of the pros and cons. One, one of the cons is clearly that they're a lot heavier. They're, they're a lot more work to move around but, but they make a much more solid floor. We'll find the balance point on them. It should be pretty close. Okay.
like it? Good. We've had another great day and things are really coming together. Uh, got all the trusses delivered this morning and we've been rolling them out. It's been a bit of a fist fight with all the snow and water and mud, but um, considering the conditions, the, the weather's been great and we've got a whole bunch done. This way. Okay. 